I am so sorry about this, Darren. Here you go, have a microphone all to yourself. Thank you. How are we doing, everyone? Thanks for turning up. Lovely August weather, eh? Lovely August weather. We do really appreciate it. Um, Darren, this was never in doubt, really. Sixth greatest of all time without Darren Huckabee? Impossible, surely. I don't know, uh, Kenny Foggo, Graham Padden, Raw Fox, Darren either. You know, just to be mentioned with them kind of plays is a, is a great honour. So to be picked, I think it's what you do on the pitch, and I think the fans appreciate what we did and what all them players have done. You know, not just great players, but also hopefully great ambassadors to the club. Mr. Gunn, sir, I'll let you hold that microphone while I bring up a partner in crime for you. Okay, 304. Well, that's what transfer market said, all right. No, 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 477, they're a bit out. I'll sack my researcher. <laughs> Just ask me. As if I've got one. <laughs> Sorry, Brian, I've done you a great disservice, but it's fine, we've stuck you on the wall. We, okay, I'm there. You're there. You. So let's bring up to join Brian, the scorer of some of the most famous and spectacular goals in Norwich City history, including, of course, that moment against Bayern Munich in the UEFA Cup, with hopefully 164 appearances. Please welcome Mr. Jeremy Goss. I think your transfer market 1975's yeah, out. Gossie's played so many more games than we, that. We need to go back to paper records. Are you, you're, come on, join him under there, Jeremy. It doesn't matter about me, we've got to keep our legends dry. We can do it together, exactly that. Gents, it is such a privilege to have you back here. It is 30 years. We did our 25 year reunion and suddenly it's 30. Does it feel like that? No, it doesn't. It sometimes feels like yesterday. But then other times it feels like it was a different world on a different planet, so it is a strange one. 30 years is a long time, isn't it? It is a long time. Well, yeah. well, Gossie had blonde hair and I had lots of hair. <laughs> and Gossie's got grey hair and I've got no hair now, so there you go. It must be 30 years, yeah. Well, things certainly have changed. Yeah. Okay. Nice to see you, Wes. How are you doing? Yeah, good. I'm the rain. Yeah, sorry about that. Now, we're going to bring up a mate for you as well, to keep you company here. It's not, it's not Grand Holt, is it? It is going to have oh, to be geez. Grand Holt. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it, I didn't vote, but these guys probably did. Um, let's bring him up there. He is a man who played alongside Wes, scoring 78 goals in 168 Norwich City appearances, including 23 in the Premier League. As the song sort of goes, we really love Grant Holt. Hey. Does Grant Holt up the rain? He's in. You can see, oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> That's the picture we wanted. Um, gentlemen. Here, you hold it. You're bigger than me. We'll go. We'll go with Wes first. Wes, it's been five years <laughs> five years since that incredible send-off that you got here, but clearly your connection with this football club has wavered a little. Yeah, definitely. It uh, means a lot, like uh, getting by, uh, the vote for this in the top six. Um, you know, had a ten years here, which is unbelievable. Um, you know, five years, wow, time flies. Um, you know, and the send-off I got that day was uh, amazing. You know, just thank the fans all, all over again. It was unbelievable. One of the best days of my career. And uh, yeah, I mean, really enjoyed it. Well, the rain has relented slightly as well, so I am pleased with that. Uh, Grant, I'll come to you. First of all, what was it like playing with this guy? And then I'm going to put the question the other way around. There you go. Where's he? <laughs> that sums it up. It's that natural connection. He only ever gives it when he really, really had to, that's all I think. Um, I think there's no doubt with, if you're talking through people through the list, there's no doubt that he was going to be on that list. I said he'd probably, I always say, probably the best player I've ever played with in terms of knowing exactly. Uh, just. We just had a click. I used to hate him because when he was a black boy, he used to dive everywhere and cost us something. But when we got together, it just clicked and everything and knew what we were doing. So, no, I've been very fortunate that part of my time, he still says that he should have got the three player of the years that I got, but that's, he didn't. So, that's <laughs> the way it is of my life afterwards. So, it's a pretty special place. And, you know, the fans have been amazing. Even even getting relegated that uh, year in the championship, you know, they tore up 25, 26,000 fans. And, um, you know, it's pretty special that people keep coming back and following the club and, um, you know, it's a pretty special place. And even around the area, when you're walking around, people are so nice to come up to you and say hello and you have a yap about the time you had at the club and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a pretty special place. And you will forevermore be part of it up here. Now, Grant looks like he's got a final word. I'm just gonna, I just didn't realise you had so many relegations when you were here in the tennis. <laughs> we have had a I just want to say thanks to Brian. Only relegations when I didn't play. I just want to say thanks to Brian Gunn, obviously, for bringing me to the football club. I think everyone forgets that, that he actually brought me in here. And he's probably the best manager I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Well, let's bring him back up on stage. Let's welcome back Brian Gunn, Jeremy Goss and Darren Huckabee. I'm now going to get out of the way and let all of you take a picture with these five incredible footballers. 
And uh, yeah, if you want to take microphones and umbrellas. Let me get out of the way, please. Photo opportunity.